Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be throwing together a quick instant pot chicken noodle soup. Um, for those of you who attend my class, you know that I've been a little under the weather this week. And I thought since I was going to go ahead and throw together my chicken noodle soup just because nothing else really sounds good, I would just go ahead and film it. I will try to talk through as much as I can, um, but again, under the weather. So let's try to get through this so that I can have some lunch and possibly dinner today. First thing I'm going to do is spray my liner of my Instant Pot. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit the saute button. And we're going to start layering our ingredients. So I'm taking like a variation. I'm using the Hungry Girl recipe just for my base recipe, but she's using different ingredients as far as the noodles are concerned. So I'll link that recipe below so that you just have a baseline and you can just keep track of what I'm throwing in mine. So the first thing we're gonna throw in is I have one cup of onions, one cup of carrots, and approximately a half cup of celery. So I'm gonna throw that into the pot and just saute that just for a couple of minutes. While my pot's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some minced garlic, and I just have this big jar here from Costco. I'm gonna throw in just a heaping tablespoon. Give that a quick stir. It also calls for black pepper and salt, so about a quarter teaspoon of each, so I'm just gonna eyeball that in here. And then I'm just using my Himalayan sea salt grinder. I'm going to let this go ahead and saute for a couple of minutes and then I will come back to you when that's ready. Okay, so that's been going about four minutes. I'm going to go ahead now and I cut up some chicken. And there's about a pound and a half of chicken in here. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this into the pot next. And I'm going to saute that again just for a couple of minutes. Okay, while we're letting that saute, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a half a teaspoon of ground thyme. I just have this ground thyme here from McCormick's. And then I'm going to add in a half teaspoon of onion powder. And I just have this, just regular onion powder. Again, half teaspoon of each of those. You know, I almost didn't film today because I knew I wasn't going to be my super cheerful self. And I knew my voice was super scratchy. But again, if you're feeling under the weather, I just wanted you to see that you could throw this together fairly quickly and at least have something that you can eat that will sound interesting and taste good. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in two bay leaves. Get 
give that one last little stir here. <coughs> Okay, so the next thing it calls for is six cups of chicken broth. And you know that I have this, this type chicken base. It's kind of like the better than bouillon. So I went ahead and mixed up six cups of chicken broth and I'm just gonna pour that right in. There's two cups. And here's the other four cups. Gonna give that one quick little stir to make sure there's no bits stuck to the bottom here. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn my pot around, scoot you back out. Not sure if you're getting a good angle there or not. And then I'm gonna place my lid on. I'm gonna hit the cancel button. I'm going to turn my knob here to ceiling and I'm going to turn this on for 12 minutes on high pressure. So I'm just going to hit the manual button, back it down to 12 minutes, and I'm gonna let that go ahead and come to pressure. <coughs> and then it's gonna cook for 12 minutes, and then I'm gonna let that do a natural release for about 10 minutes. So once that happens, I'll come back to you and then I'll show you what we're gonna do with the noodles. Okay, I just released the pressure on the Instant Pot. I let that come to a natural release for about 12 minutes. And what that means is I just let it sit for 12 minutes after the cook time. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the lid. And then what I'm going to do next is I went ahead and, I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. I went ahead and measured out 10 ounces of these little rotini wheat, whole wheat noodles. So I'm just gonna pop those right in. I did say 10 ounces, right? Hopefully I said 10 ounces. So 10 ounces of rotini noodles. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna pop the lid right back on. I'm gonna put that back on ceiling. And I'm gonna hit the cancel button. Now, the rule of thumb for pasta is to cook it for, see the, the pasta that I have here says to cook for eight to 10 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that 10 minutes and I'm going to cut that in half and then add one minute. So that's going to cook for six total minutes in the Instant Pot. I don't know where I learned that. I think it's just been around for a while and it was just the rule of thumb. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit my manual button. I'm gonna back this down to six minutes. We're gonna let that come back to pressure, which will not take any time at all. And I'll come back to you when that's done and show you the final product. Okay, our Instant Pot just beeped. Our noodles are done. I'm gonna go ahead and let the pressure out. Okay, our pin just dropped, which means it's safe to now open our Instant Pot. Just gonna go ahead and Move the lid, and then I'm going to give that a quick stir. I like it like a. I really like a nice thick, hearty chicken noodle soup. So I'm going to go ahead and ladle some of this out into my bowl. Looks delicious, doesn't it? Grab a little more of that juice here. And I'll figure out the points on this and I'll put it in the title. Once I get done, once this cools off, I'll kind of see exactly how much I have here. All right, so that is our chicken noodle soup. So if you're not feeling well, this will definitely hit the spot. All right, so I'm gonna sign off because my voice is getting ready to go again. So with that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.